And this is the first video of a new series of five minute tutorials on important Godot concepts and practical skills. They will be focusing on the most important stuff only. Today we talk about CSG meshes. I want to cover three things. First, what are CSGs and why should we care? Second, what kind of CSG meshes exist and what are CSG primitives? And third, how do we use them? for example, in a small demo scene. And what are they good for? Let's jump right in. So what are CSGs? CSG stands for Constructive Solid Geometry, and that is basically a way to add complex, to create complex structure out of simple one. I'm adding here a CSG box, and I have in the inspector here, uh, with height and depth, I have a way to add and use collision, that's nice. And I have an operation, union, intersection, or subtraction. And that is basically what this is all about. An easy way to create complex structure out of simple one, because I can apply this three operation to any CSG shape. There is an analogy in Blender where I have Boolean modifiers. Here I have two cubes and to one of those cubes I added a Boolean modifier. And here again, I have intersect, union and difference. So I create a difference to cube number two, which is this one. And when I remove this, then I can see a cutout in cube number one. So I create a complex structure out of a simple one. And that is basically Godot's answer to that feature. So what kind of CSG shapes can I create? Well, we have seen the box already. And when I create a new node, I can actually see there are two types. There's CSG primitive. We have six of them. And we have a CSG combine. We will talk about the combiner in a minute. Let's talk about the primitives. I created a new scene here with the six different types of primitives. And when I click on the cube here, I can see here three orange dots. When I click on them and I move them, I can change its shape. And I have three. And here with the cylinder, I have two, thickness and height. Then I have the polygon that has four per default. So I could make something like a ramp. And I can also add more polygons. I can make from five or six of them and then change the shape accordingly. Here, I just have one for the sphere and for the torus. Torus, I have two. And then there is the CSG mesh, which is kind of hiding in between, right? It has no shape because I'm, I have to go to the inspector and pick a mesh here. Just like with the mesh instance, I have to kind of select it here. I can have a plane, for example. And these are the six primitives for CSG meshes. So let's build a small room with the CSG shapes that we have learned about. So here I have a CSG box again. That is a room with 5 by 5 meters, 2.4 meters high, like a typical room height. And I want to cut out an empty space. I have a separate CSG box. Again, these are primitives. CSG box is one of those primitives. And I want to kind of sink in this empty space box that are called empty space and I expect that to be cut out but nothing happens even though I have picked subtraction I want to subtract this empty space from the room but it doesn't do anything it doesn't matter what I pick here so why is that well you remember when we looked at this nodes we can see the primitives and then we also have this CSG combiner. And the CSG combiner's function is to basically tell Godot that we want to perform a Boolean operation here. So I have a CSG combiner and I move this in the CSG combiner. I move this into the CSG combiner. And now there are children of the CSG combiner. And then I can see that the operation is being performed. And I just move that down a little bit. And now I have the room cut out. I can keep going. So I had another box and I want to kind of use that to make two doors here. I pick subtraction and then I have two doors. Of course, I can duplicate that and make more. And so you can see here that I can use this principle very quickly to make larger levels. This is great for prototyping. Most importantly, you can easily change your level around. These doors do not have to stay. They can be moved. 
They are very flexible. I can shift something. And I can try that out in my game. And if I like it, I can go to Blender and make it more... Uh, can make it prettier and then create a proper level. But this one I can create in minutes. And that is the real strength of this method. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I see you soon.